Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We are back at the trails. Unfortunately not to ride because it's a little bit too wet. There was a lot of rain last night, so I thought this would be perfect to come and just make this launch here mellower because I'm still having issues clearing it with doing flip tricks because I pull off so hard. Um, and Vin also like with some of his flip tricks, he ends up pulling too much. So I want to make the lip a bit mellower and I thought this would be perfect to do a how to resurface a dirt chump face just for those that might be interested out there um, you know there's a whole bunch of different ways to build jumps but everyone has little tips and tricks that might help somebody else out there so yeah I think I'm going to basically do some time-lapse videos of me fixing this lip up and then do a voiceover when I get home I hope you guys enjoyed the video please don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into it Awesome, so this is a dirt jump that I'll be resurfacing. It is currently way too steep and I've used the wrong dirt for the surface so it is crumbling as you can see here. The goal is to add more dirt to mellow it out and smoothen the lip. So firstly I start with the slight water to get moisture into the dirt. I'll then scratch up the lip to help the new dirt bind with the old dirt and follow it up with another light water. It is important to keep the soil damp so it isn't too dry but not too wet that it's sludge. Different types of soil react differently, so play around with it and see what you need with the moisture. There are two ways I like to pack my dirt. The first way is over the shoulder. The second way is under the arm. Both methods have their time and their place. However, for resurfacing, I prefer the over the shoulder method. I prefer this method as it spreads the dirt fairly evenly and it helps the new dirt bind a bit better with the old dirt as it compacts it slightly when you throw it onto the surface. So now you want to pack a layer of dirt however thick you need. In my case about 10 cm to mellow out the lip. I like to do this as it helps me to see the transition before I start compacting or shaping the new face. The dirt you use is important. You need to figure out what dirt you have where you dig to see if it'll compact and keep its integrity. If you have clay like in my case, always use that to resurface the faces as it'll coat better with the weather than most other dirt. Once you have enough of a layer, you need to start compacting the dirt. I always start at the base of the lip and use the slap slide method to compact. The slap slide motion helps polish the dirt for a smooth surface as well as prevents the wet dirt from sticking to the spade. If you'd like to see a video on my custom spade, leave a comment in the comment section below. Starting at the base of the lip helps me follow the transition easier and prevents me from making an uneven surface. You'll constantly see me adding and removing soil in order to maintain that smooth surface. You want to constantly check from the side to ensure that you are maintaining a smooth transition as any divot or bump will be felt when you ride it. You'll see that I work in layers up the lip. This is my method to help me follow the transition I need and it makes it easier for me to check my progress as I go. As you dig more, you'll find methods that help you as everyone builds dirt jumps differently and there are many different ways to build with different dirts. As I start getting further up the lip, I will continuously scrape the extra dirt that falls to the base so that I don't waste any of the good dirt. The key to easily resurfacing a lip is good prep work such as scratching the old lip up, good dirt and good moisture levels. I was lucky to have a very overcast day when resurfacing this lip as it helped me keep the dirt moist for longer. If you are digging on a hot sunny day or during a dry season, you will want to wet the dirt as you build so that the dirt does not crumble or split away from the old lip. Moisture is absolutely necessary. Another big tip, however not needed, is a long handled shovel. This will definitely be a back saver when digging for a long period of time. Let's now address the edges. I usually make the edges nice and sharp, however Vin convinced me to try rounding my edges off and so far it has dealt with the rain a lot better. Even though I don't think it looks as nice, it serves a purpose, so I highly recommend doing it if you want less maintenance.
When you get to the top edge, it is best to take your time as it may take a bit more effort. If you take it step by step and keep the dirt moist, you'll get it right before you know it. Just remember to compact the front and the top. Make sure to close up all the edges in a small layer of new dirt as it will help cope better with the weather. We had rain before resurfacing this jump, so I'm cleaning the area now to assess my transition of final time before I use the back of the rake and complete my final compact. I use the back of the rake to break down any last bumps and I find it helps me more than you'd expect. Now it's just the last bit of compacting and then to leave it to bake in the sun before having a session. Digging is a lot of hard work, but it is definitely worth it when you get to ride your work with fresh. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The end result of mellowing out this lip made me super sweaty. I will put in a few bales and worms of my sesh after the resurface. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next one.